so in this video I will show about the effect of electric current on a resistive load so this current is AC and my load is R so if I am connecting a resistance R and I am supplying a AC voltage which is given by V is equal to Vm sin omega t and the current flowing in this resistance will be given by I is equal to Im sin omega t. So again the waveforms can be shown as this is a waveform of of the voltage which will be varying from 0 to 2 pi and which is not very symmetrical as I have drawn here but it will be symmetrical when you draw it on scale and the waveform of the current I is equal to I m sin omega t and V is equal to V m sin omega t. So V is equal to V m sin omega t is equal to the voltage and I is equal to I m sin omega t is equal to the current one thing is that the V the I M can be given as V divided by or V M divided by R and the power in the circuit P is equal to can be given by the equation P is equal to V I which is only active power in case of resistive loads we are not having any kind of uh, reactive power So, the next thing is the power can be given as Vm into Im into sine square omega t. and this is in watts and Vm by root 2 is equal to I and I am by uh, V and I am by root 2 is equal to I these are known as the RMS values well these are the peak values which is corresponding to the peak which is Vm and Im but this is a RMS value is a root mean square value and the power can be equal to Vi which is in the RMS value or it can be directly given by Vm, Im and sin omega t or sin theta if you know the phase difference uh, between the voltage and the current at instantaneous time but in this case of DC circuits it is seen that uh, the power is equal to Vm Im divided by 2 minus Vm Im divided by 2 cos 2 omega t so if you are considering the cos 2 omega t uh, then this whole component will be 0 for uh, the reactive circuit uh, for uh, the reactive circuit where only resistive circuit sorry so the power will be equal to the VI next is uh, electrical current on a uh, resistive load or inductive load so an inductance can be drawn in this way and this is given by L and if you are supplying an AC current 
which is given by v is equal to vm sin omega t and i is equal to im sin omega t then a current i will flow and but the current will not flow instantaneously there would be a lag between the current and the voltage which for pure inductive circuit is usually 90 degree between the current and the voltage so if we am some if i am supplying the voltage in my v then my current will be current will flow only after a period of pi by 2 or 90 degrees so there will be a lag in the flow of the current which is for pure uh, inductive circuits so the equation of current or uh, the voltage in inductor is given by l di by dt so v m sin omega t is equal to l di by dt which is equal to di is equal to v m by l sin omega t dt so if i'm integrating this what i will be getting is i will be getting i is equal to i m or which is equal to vm by omega l cos omega t so omega l is equal to known as xl or inductive reactance of the circuit which is equal to 2 pi f l so because omega is equal to 2 pi f and vm by xl can be known as uh, im for this circuit so this is how you are deriving the equation of the voltage and the current for a uh, inductive circuit again if you have the case of a uh, resistive or a capacitive circuit then if it's possible to see the effect by supplying a voltage v is equal to vm sin omega t and if you are the capacitance of c and the current i so the current here also will be flowing in such a way that the current will lead the voltage so first the capacitance will charge itself to a value of q and then it will discharge so there will be always some charge present on the capacitor so the current which is flowing on the load which which might be a resistive load if you are connecting will be always above or uh, the current flowing in the circuit considering only capacitance will be leading the supplied voltage so if q is equal to cv in case of capacitance and the voltage or the charge can be given or the q can be given as c into uh, vm sin omega t and i is equal to dq by dt so based on that equation it is equal to d by dt of vm sin omega t so in this case it is possible to say that my i is equal to my i is equal to vm cos omega t divided by 1 upon omega c since in this case i have also to multiply it by c because my dq is equal to cv so my c will be here which will I get again so 1 upon omega c is equal to xc which is what is my uh, capacitive uh, reactance of the circuit and my i will be given by i m sin omega t this is a peak value and again if you are plotting the voltage and the current the current will be given by this this value which is the value of the current i 
and again if you are uh, seeing this is a value of voltage and seeing the current it will be always leading by a pi by 2.